to the important module where we are going to discuss about the blockchain technology. Blockchain is the most fascinated terminology nowadays. We are going to discuss how it is associated with cyber security. A blockchain is a decentralized distributed database that is used to maintain a continuously growing list of records fundamentally known as blocks. Each block contains a timestamp and is linked to the previous block by means of a hash pointer. Blockchains are inherently resistant to data modification by design as well as by purpose. Functionally, a blockchain serves as an open distributed ledger capable of recording all the transactions that take place between two parties efficiently and effectively. The blockchain technique allows digital information to be distributed rather than copied. The different forms of blockchain are centralized, decentralized and distributed. Let us see the history of blockchain. The first concept of digital currency was developed and it was conceptualized relying on a central server architecture to avoid double spending. There were few more concepts introduced later in the year 1990s. In the year 1991, a research on cryptographically secured chain of blocks was conducted by Haber and Stornetta. During 90s, Sabo was developing a mechanism for a decentralized digital currency which was named as BitGold. More than 10 years later, the Bitcoin cryptocurrency was introduced. The initial Bitcoin technology was based on a decentralized system. In Satoshi Nakamoto white paper, in the year 2008, the nouns block and chain were used separately and later the technology was coined and named as blockchain. During 2016, the concept was merged into one word blockchain. That is what we are using today, a single word. There have been five major blockchain based inventions during the last 10 years. The first major blockchain based innovation was Bitcoin. This is a digital currency. Bitcoin is used by millions of people for online and secure payments and also even for including the banking sector. The second invention was the blockchain itself. Despite of being a hidden technology, it allowed the Bitcoin to be separated from the currency and used for all types of cooperation. The third innovation was named as smart contract. This is also called as Ethereum. The Ethereum platform provided few developments of small programs directly into blockchain. The fourth major innovation, the most innovative part of the blockchain is the proof of stake. The actual generation of blockchains is secured by this proof of work where decisions are made by a group with the largest amount of computing power. 
these groups are known as miners and they control huge data centers to ensure security by having cryptocurrency payments and the last one of course the fifth major innovation is blockchain scaling at present in the blockchain each member in the network processes every transaction that is really slow blockchain architecture is popularly used in the financial industry during these days this technology is not only employed for cryptocurrencies but also for keeping records digital notary and smart contracts we'll just have a glimpse of the technical architecture and a high level view of the blockchain in general a blockchain system consists of a number of nodes each of which has a local copy of a ledger in most systems the nodes belong to different organization the nodes communicate with each other in order to gain agreement of the contents of the ledger and do not require a central authority to coordinate and validate all the transactions the process of gaining this agreement is called consensus there are a number of different algorithms that have been developed for this purpose users send transaction requests to the blockchain in order to perform the operations the chain is designed to provide once the transaction is completed the record of the transaction is added to one or more number of ledgers and can never be altered or removed this property of the blockchain which is most important of all the other properties known as immutability next we'll see the core components of blockchain architecture and its working following are the core components of blockchain architecture they are node transaction block chain miners and as we saw consensus node user or computer within the blockchain architecture it is each has an independent copy of the whole blockchain ledger is known as node transaction smallest building block of the blockchain systems like records information etc they serve as the purpose of blockchain third block that is a data structure used for keeping the set of transactions which is distributed to all nodes in the network chain chain is nothing but a sequence of blocks in some specific order miners certain specific nodes which perform the block verification process before adding anything to the blockchain structure finally the consensus or it's also known as the consensus protocol this is nothing but a set of rules and arrangements to carry out the blockchain operations smoothly now we'll see what way a blockchain is different from the fundamental data structure all of us know the fundamental databases as well as data structures used to store the databases etc database versus blockchain architecture the traditional architecture of the world wide web uses the client server paradigm in this case the server keeps all the required information in one place so that it is easy to update server being a centralized database it is controlled by a number of administrators with permissions in the case of distributed network which is the idea behind blockchain architecture each participant within the network maintains 
approves and updates the new entries the system is controlled not only by separate individuals but by everyone within the blockchain network each member ensures that all the records and procedures are in order which results in data validity and security thus parties that do not necessarily trust each other are able to reach a common consensus the connection between the nodes is based on peer to peer network in summary blockchain is a decentralized and distributed ledger which may be private or public of different kinds of transactions with a peer to peer network There are two vital data structures used in blockchain they are the pointers and linked lists of course they are little bit scientific next we'll look at the updations in the structure of blockchain blockchain is a technology which consists of sequence of blocks which holds a complete list of transaction records like conventional public ledger The first block of a blockchain is called the genesis block which has no parent block. A block consists of the block header and the block body with the following fields. It is basically there are two parts the header and the body. Following are the fields under that. They are block version, merkle tree root hash, time stamp n bits nonce and parent block hash these are some of the components or fields of this blockchain each block here contains a complex mathematical equation or a hash function to prove the integrity and non repudiation of its data let's see the advantages of blockchain architecture blockchain architecture can serve the following purposes for the organizations and the enterprises they are the cost reduction history of data data validity and security 